Hello and uh, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In this video we are going to discuss how we can create a list from Excel in SharePoint Online. This is a requirement that comes from most of the business users or the site owners and uh, that can we create a, a list from a Excel in SharePoint Online. Previously there was a concept of, uh, I mean it is still there, uh, where you can use import spreadsheet option to create a list uh, from an Excel. But that requires uh, your ActiveX control in the browser and uh, most importantly that is not a very user friendly way to do that. In SharePoint Online Modern Experience Microsoft come up with a feature where you can create a list from an, uh, from an Excel and uh, that's that's very convenient to create it and uh, another important thing is that this will work on the SharePoint online modern experience as of now um, this is no this is not possible on the on the SharePoint online classic sites so now let us see we will uh, see how we can create a uh, create a list so we will prepare the Excel and then I will show you the steps so we'll, we will check all these things so now let me open my SharePoint online site. Okay, if you are interested for SharePoint trainings, then I have a SharePoint development training course where you can uh, learn SharePoint online, SharePoint 2019 uh, from beginner to advanced level. So you can check out this. I will put, uh, the, put the link in the video description. You can have a look at this. This is the entire content on this. Now, uh, what we will do is first we will create our Excel and uh, then we will uh, come here and upload and then we will see that. So the first step, if you'll see here, I have an Excel file here. I have uh, given the name as employees. So if I will just open it, you can see here, I have put employee name, address, experience, salary like this. And uh, this these two are single line of text and these are numbers. Now what's the first thing you have to do is you will select this. So whatever this entire record you want to move, then you can select this and you can see here under this home tab, this format as table is there. So you can select anything from here. The most important thing here is you can select uh, my uh, table has headers. So if you, if you have actually headers here, for example, in this case, if you'll see, it is employee name, address, experience, salary, these things are there. So that is my header. If you not put header, uh, then what will happen is when you will, if I'll uncheck it, then it will take as column one, column two, column three like this. And it will ignore uh, uh, the first row. It will treat as a row uh, or as a content. So since I want my uh, first row should be the header, so I select it and then click on OK. So once you click on OK, you can see here whatever the table format you have selected, it comes here like this. So it becomes a, a table now. Another thing you can do is you can see here there is a table name option. You can select it or you can change it actually. For example, in this case, I will put let's say EMP. So my table name now becomes EMP. So I'll just save it and I will close it. So you can see here now our Excel is uh, will be having the formatted table. Now I will open my SharePoint online chat and then you can go to uh, the SharePoint uh, documents document library or the shared documents so it is basically the documents uh, I'll open this and we can upload that so I'll just uh, uh, you can just drag and drop or you can use the upload button here so upload files and then I will go to the desktop I will select my file and you can simply drag and drop also you can do that so I have uploaded it over here now this is the place uh, where you can upload your Excel file and then it will come uh, in the next step I'll show you. Now next thing is now we will see how we can create the list. So our Excel part is over now. So what you can do here is you can go to the site content page. First of all this option is available on the site content page. Though from the home page if I'll go to the home page then uh, you have new option you have new list and here you can create the list. But this way you cannot select the Excel file. So what you have to do is you have to go to the site content page and from here you can see here click new and then list. So when you will create uh, click on that you have three options. You can create a brand new custom list you can see here and uh, the next one is from an existing list and then third one is from an Excel.
So from an existing list, I have uh, created this in another uh, in a separate video. I'll put the link in the description as well, so you can have a look at that in in the free in the other video. So what you will do here is you can select from Excel and you can provide a name here. For example, I will give the name as employees. Uh, you can optionally select so in uh, site navigation. So if you select this, then it will come in the left navigation here. Now you have two options. Either you can upload from your local system. So you can click on this upload file button or you can see here we have uh, the employee.xlsx the excel file that we have uploaded to our document library so this is the place where if, if when you upload and it will appear here now for this particular example what i will do is i'll upload it so i'll click on this and then i'll select this file from our local system you can see here it is showing uploading loading the table and you can see here it has the option select a table from this site we have one table if your excel contains more table then you will have all this table will be populated here and you can select the particular table now next it is quite important that you might require to change the data type so you can see here before that this employee name address experience and salary all these columns are appearing with your data whatever you have selected but you have also the option where you can actually change the data type you can see here i can select the thing instead of single line of text i can select the address as multi line of text and then you can see your number uh, uh, this is of number type and then you can see here even the title field also you can uh, select it now next click on create and then it will take just a couple of seconds and you can see here your employee list got created and uh, you can see here um, all this data are here there's one more thing uh, that we did here is uh, you can see we have formatted the table but might be there will be scenarios when you will not have a formatting option that means in the excel might not be formatted as a table then what will happen is it will so you four steps basically where you can do the same things in the online excel and uh, you can format it and then you can come back and it will create uh, the list here so for that what to show this what i'll do is i will create uh, one more excel and then i'll show you how it is so for that what i did is i have the excel i created one more excel file products and it has you can see here two record and then this is our header now what I'll do is I will just save without format as a table option. So I'll just close it and uh, then I'll open my SharePoint site. We will go to the same place. That means I'll go to the site content page here. You can see and uh, from here I'll click on new and you can see here new list. I'll select from Excel and here I will select products and then I'll upload the file. You can see here I select the products file which is not formatted and you can see here now it is showing that you can open the excel document and then you can select the cells and then you can do the format as table and then you can come back and you have the option here so just click on this open button you can see here it is opening in uh, online excel so i'll select uh, the sale and the data data and then i'll click on format as table you can see here i'll select anything my table has header i'll click on ok so once you click on ok then you can come here and you can just refresh it so this this file actually you don't need to even save it this will be auto saved you can just close it and then you can come here and you can just refresh it so once you refresh it you can see here now it is coming product name and model number you have the option to select the table if you have more and then uh, this is the list name everything is same as it is and then you can click on create and it will uh, create the list immediately you can see here it created the list with the title model number and this is the product so i hope you like the video and uh, if if you are uh, uh, if you want to learn more things then you can uh, uh, go to our websites uh, speaguides.com and just airpoint and uh, this is a site for azure and these are twitter handles um, you can check it out linkedin and facebook pages as well 
so thank you and uh, do subscribe to our channel because you will get a lot of free videos on uh, uh, SharePoint, Office 365, Azure, uh, SPFX, Power Apps, Power BI Flow. So all these technology videos that we are uploading here and you will you will get all these uh, videos uh, regularly uh, on this. So thank you and uh, have a nice day.